Faking Gin, a Hong Kong-based gin brand, has taken some unnecessary flack after the UK's alcohol industry watchdog deemed its name offensive. Image, luxurious magazine. According to the UK regulator, the Portman Group, the complaint revolves around the name's supposed intent to shock and be pronounced as an offensive term, you know, when pronounced with a heavy English accent, the brand name sounds like fucking gin. Personally I wouldn't want to see this product on family supermarket shelves or being promoted in an environment where children have access, such as most social media sites, the complainant said. Fuck the haters. Haven thought the experience of different cultures and their unique diversities. We'd be delighted to show you around Hong Kong one day, if you ever make it. Pastitz Borders. The brand then proceeds to explain the origins of the name, which pays homage to a street called Fuck King Lane in Causeway Bay, Hong Kong. They then engage in a little tongue-in-cheek wit and talk about how well their gin has been received on the global stage. Fuck King Gin pays homage to Fuck King Lane in Causeway Bay, Hong Kong. Image, Luxurious Magazine, which expired on November 14, 2021. Incognito Group, the company that produces Fa King Jin, reiterated the fact that it had already done its due diligence in changing Fuck to Fuck to make it more palatable for a UK consumer base despite the reality that not everything in this world revolves around the English language. Tima can relate. Tima knows how it feels. Image, Wine Pack International. Tima Whiskey caught some of its own flack when conservative politicians in Malaysia accused the brand's name of alluding to Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad. In actuality, the word Tima is Bahasa Malaysia for tin. Additionally, critics took aim at the portrait that emblazons the bottle labeling, who they say looks like a man wearing a copaya or skull cap usually worn by Muslim men. Captain Tristram Speedy. Image, Bonhams. But literally right below the Tima logo sits an inscription that reads, 1871 The Legend of Captain Speedy. The company that produces the multi-award winning whiskey, Wine Pack International, went on to defend its use of the name, as well as the man depicted on its Labeling, Captain Tristram Speedy, a British officer in Malaya back when the country was still under British rule. After repeated calls for a name change, the Malaysian cabinet eventually conceded and allowed the whiskey brand to keep its name. Do you know any other alcohol brands with quirky names? Read more life stories. Man sets world record after creating a tree that bears 10 types of fruit. Boy born after just 4.5 months into pregnancy is world's most premature baby. Thai woman's bedroom turns into aquarium full of fish after heavy rainfall. Cover image sourced from Luxurious Magazine, IndieWire, and Tema Whiskey.